What's going on, my beautiful Aquarius? Thank you guys for tuning in to Jaquela's Divine Tarot. This is your first time to our channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for walking with me into our Divinity Aquarius gang gang. Y'all smash that like button as y'all come okay into the building let me know where you guys are tuning in from in the comment section down below let me know if this reading resonates with you on any level this is a general all right for aquarius all placements okay if you want to book a reading check the description box down below do not forget to subscribe aquarius hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i go live or when your video uploads once we hit 26k i'm going to be doing a lucky giveaway to six lucky winners all right so you do not want to miss it go ahead and subscribe follow me on instagram at jacayla's divine tarot so let's get into it holy spirit what important messages do you have for my beautiful aquarius wow cheater right out the bat okay I don't know why I kept hearing stutter, 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 stutter. I can tell you're lying by the way you're crying. You stutter, stutter. So somebody here is getting caught up. Cheating? It says sleeping around while having a partner, not playing fair, unfaithful, and non-committal. So Aquarius, this is either you or your person. Somebody's dealing with a cheater here. Out the bat, okay? This person could like stutter when you ask them the truth. Yeah, budding heads, okay? So there could be some type of fight or something breaking out because somebody's cheating. Or maybe you and your partner could be budding heads. All right, because somebody found out that somebody here was non-committal, unfaithful. All right, or if this is your person dealing with someone else, say for instance, Aquarius, you are out of this, but your person is dealing with somebody else. They they could be fighting or butting heads because they're finding out that somebody here is unfaithful here. Wow, it says fighting, getting into arguments. Someone is in conflict, passive aggressive, sabotaging. All right, so yeah, somebody here is passive aggressive. So instead of like speaking up on how they feel and things like that, they would much rather like go out and cheat on somebody instead of like handling the issue like this person could be very childish and maybe they don't know how to communicate or something here but yeah i see some type of okay this is two like pink gloves so it could be a girl fight could be two feminines okay fighting over a masculine or two masculines fighting over a feminine or maybe you're in the same sex relationship yeah somebody feels like you're a home wrecker aquarius okay or this is your person if they're dealing with somebody else somebody's definitely a home wrecker all right it says breaking up a happy family having affairs doesn't respect no boundaries wow somebody's dealing with a home record here so aquarius i don't know if this is you or your person somebody definitely got caught cheating yeah pick me this is somebody that will do anything for the approval of the opposite sex willing to embarrass or throw someone under the bus to achieve a goal so somebody here literally is like a pick me type of person like this man or woman aquarius it's like they will do anything in their power to either get your partner to sleep with them they will do anything in their power to like make you look bad okay to try to take away from your character or whatever like somebody here is willing to like embarrass themselves all right to like break up your happy home or to break up like uh to interfere with what you got going on this person's a cheater they don't play fair they're non-committal okay so i don't know somebody here could be trying to cause drama somebody may feel like you're a home record aquarius <laughs> Or like I said, somebody's finding out that somebody's non-committal here. And this could cause some type of drama or a fight. Wow. What else is going on for my beautiful Aquarius? This is crazy. Yeah, soul contract. So it says you are under a divine contract with someone. Twin flame, soulmate, or a karmic. So some of you guys could have some type of soul contract with a cheater. So Aquarius, maybe you're the cheater or your person is. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's non-committal. And maybe you're wondering like, why can I not leave this person? Why can I get rid of this person? Why is this person energy... Uh, still around okay and this person i know this person's no good for me you know what i'm saying so some of you guys may be feeling like that and it's because you have like a toxic or a karmic soul tied to this person so you may need to do the cord cutting uh, which i do have those services available but you may need to do like a cord cutting or you need to research more on how you can cut the cords to this cheater here all right some of you guys are getting a new soul contract like to a twin flame or a soulmate all right because maybe you did find out that someone was a cheater they were non-committal so your spirit guys some of you guys have left this person behind all right you left them behind okay it's like okay you can have whoever you want i'm going to move on so because of that some of you guys have a new contract like twin flame or soulmate contract coming in but yeah somebody here is definitely dealing with a cheater here and this is a, a karmic soul tie yeah it's only lust all right so somebody here has a karmic soul tie with somebody okay and maybe this situation was only about sex somebody could be lusting after you aquarius and maybe they're you got you and this person are budding heads because maybe that's all they want is sex and you want more all right or vice versa there could have been a karmic that could have slept with you or your person and maybe they're upset because they want more than just lust and maybe it was just a sex somebody was only motivated by lust and the other person maybe wanted a commitment is the energy that i'm getting here but it says this situation involves lust passion sexuality physical attraction to you or someone all right so yeah somebody here is definitely fighting 
somebody is fighting okay so say if your person's with somebody else or if they're single or whatever somebody is upset at you or your person because they know that either you're attracted to someone else or they feel yeah they feel that you're attracted to someone else Aquarius or if your person is dealing with someone else they are fighting or butting heads because they know that your person is attracted to you or they fiend for you or want to be with you or whatever somebody found out that somebody was sleeping around with someone else basically and this is causing some type of fight or you could be dealing with someone of course that just like they have a lot of lusty energy okay they come off very lusty like they're a home wrecker so this male or feminine uh this male or female energy here okay it's like they're used to doing this they're used to breaking up happy homes they don't mind messing with married men married women people that are in commitments they like that shit okay so this is definitely like karmic energy here they have they don't respect themselves they don't have any type of boundaries so be mindful yeah and they have bad habits all right so this person could like be addicted to drugs so somebody here is a home wrecker all right so aquarius say if you had a commitment you had a happy home happy marriage and somebody like you know what i'm saying they could have some type of addiction, sex addiction, alcohol, drugs. They could let somebody get in, okay, or this is you. Yeah, this person has bad habits. They could smoke a lot, drink a lot. They're toxic, toxic traits, mindsets, and behavior, okay? So, Aquarius, I don't know if this is you or your person, but somebody definitely has some toxic traits here, all right? They break up happy homes and happy families everywhere they go. It's like they have no respect for anybody else or themselves. They smoke a lot. They drink a lot. They have addictions, all right? And that could be why they have no... It's like this person has no regard for, like, anybody's feelings or their family. So, yeah, I definitely feel like somebody here, this is a bad habit of theirs. They have a habit of cheating. They have a habit of having affairs, not setting healthy boundaries. So, this is you or your person. What else is here? Yeah, legal issues. Okay, so, yeah, pick me with the legal issues. All right, so somebody is willing to do any and everything to get your attention, Aquarius, to sleep with you, to sleep with your person. This person may even try to drag you to court or try to get the legal uh, system involved, all right, just to, like, wreck your life or just to try to, like, compete against you or, like, to take your person. Someone got sued, fighting court battles, getting a lawyer, contracts going wrong. So, yeah, somebody here was, like, drug into something. So, say, for instance, Aquarius, you were dealing with someone and you thought this person loved you or whatnot and maybe y'all went into business together or they got you wrapped up in some type of contract. I guess some type of energy here is like somebody flips the script. You find out this person was a cheater. They're not committal. They're a home wrecker. They've done this to other people before. They only wanted sex or they only wanted money. Now they got you in some type of mess. You could have legal issues or this is what your person is going through. Somebody was dealing with somebody like a karmic. They let this karmic come in and this karmic is like literally ruining your life, Aquarius, or trying to. Or they are trying to ruin your person's life. Somebody's really going through it. Yeah, marriage is here. So somebody here could be like in a fraudulent marriage or it's like, who the hell did I marry here? Because this person's a cheater. They're not committal. We fight all the time. It's only about lust or, you know, they feel like sex can fix everything or they have a drug addiction. Some of you guys can be finding that you were dealing with somebody that's married here. And maybe the person that they're married to could be a karmic, okay? And this person knows that they want to be with you, Aquarius. I don't know. Making a commitment, solid love, long-term relationship. So, yeah, you could have been dealing with this person for a while, Aquarius, okay? Or somebody was dealing with someone that's married. And maybe they feel like you're a homewrecker, Aquarius. If they're already in a commitment or marriage and this person knows about you or whatever, they may feel like you're a homewrecker or vice versa. Can I get one more card? Yeah, glowed up. All right, now, Aquarius, this could be past energy. This could have been something you dealt with before, and some of you guys are, like, actually, like, maybe you are married and you're glowing up, okay? Or you're glowing up, leveling up with your business, your spirituality, and you're going to be meeting somebody that you could actually end up marrying in here. Marrying here. It says a physical and mental transformation for the better. Looking yourself in the mirror and making a change. So if you were dealing with legal issues, maybe you used to be a home worker in your past. Maybe you didn't care if people had... Uh, a husband or a wife or whatever you was just trying to get what you was going to get like some of you guys are walking away from this or you have and because of that you've healed all right and you get like a new soul contract whether it's a twin flame or soulmate all right this person is like yeah they they're going to be able to see like your glow up your transformation you may actually end up marrying this particular person okay this person could be a stylist they dress very well skin could look really good or you could be glowing right now aquarius all right, so that's beautiful energy. So all this other stuff is like crazy, yeah, clingy. All right, so somebody here is not is not willing to let you go, Aquarius. They know if they if you get away from them, they know that you're going to glow up. They know that you're going to end up marrying somebody else. So it's like they're clinging on to your every move, your every word, or it's like they right when you start drawing back your energy, they cling on even tighter. Somebody cannot let you go here. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, let's get some tarot. 
this is crazy Aquarius oh my goodness now this will be nice if you weren't going through this and maybe this is a family member or a friend that's had this is happening to or maybe this is going on with your person you have dismissed yourself but yeah somebody's definitely fighting with a cheater or there's gonna be some type of fight disagreement because somebody here is definitely like they let a home wrecker in or somebody's a home wrecker non-committal what's going on with the aquarius uh-huh ace of wands somebody cannot control their sexual energy look at that big old wand and it's on fire so somebody here could be well endowed or they're very charming okay every little says they talk a good game but it's like their wand gets them in trouble or their wop gets them in trouble they could have accidentally got somebody pregnant all right or somebody here could be trying to get you pregnant here because she's sitting here holding a baby so some of you guys could have uh children with somebody here that is like a cheater here they're very sexual, very lusty here. Ace of Wands, they talk to other people. Okay, or somebody's going to communicate this to you. Ace of Wands, somebody here definitely wants to have a new beginning after they cheated or something like that. Yeah, Two of Cups. All right, so yeah, could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is butting heads here. All right, somebody here could be pissed off at you or pissed off at your person. All right, because they found out that you guys are talking or that this person wants to offer their cup to you or you found out that somebody you were dealing with could want to offer their cup to someone at someone else. And this is going to cause some type of drama. But I do see some type of soulmate energy here. So you could be bumping heads maybe with your soulmate or something right now. Maybe you guys had some type of argument. Okay, maybe you blocked this particular person. Some of you guys blocked this person. Yeah, but the sun card is here. Okay, so they want to like, okay, I don't know. This home record could actually be somebody that you have a child with or if your person has a child with somebody. Definitely have Leo energy here. So there could be like a Leo energy that's a home record. Or if you're dealing with a Leo, there could have been somebody that came in and like tried to disrupt your relationship or your connection with this person. Yeah, nine of swords, they're worried here. Now somebody is worried if you're going to pick them, Aquarius, or if that you're going to find out the truth that they did this on purpose to try to sabotage your reputation, your job, your happiness. Because the sun card is here. Okay, homework, or it may even be a child is what they're telling me. Okay, because this almost, if you look at it, I mean, it looks like three grown people, but with the sun card here, that's like child energy. Like, this could be like mom and dad, and then say if it's, there's like a defiant child in the middle that tries to turn the parents on one another. Okay, that could be the case here too. You know what I'm saying? Some kids are like that too. Some kids got like that karmic ass energy too. They try to turn the mama and daddy against each other or whatever and have that mama and daddy in competition. That's for somebody. That's not going to be for everybody. But for some of you guys, whoever this homeworker is, is somebody that either you have a child with Aquarius or your person does. And they could be trying to come in between y'all connection. They're worried here with the nine of swords or you are worried. Okay, if this person really does like make this person happy or whatever, yeah, ace of swords. So somebody's worried about the truth coming out. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or this is you, Aquarius. So somebody is worried that the truth is going to come out or that you see the truth. Like, it's like you getting truth and clarity about who's been this home wrecker. Who is this that has been like willing to like lie on you, embarrass themselves just to achieve some type of goal. Whoever this is, is worried and they're losing sleep here because they know what they did. They know that they did this on purpose. They could have, somebody here could have created a rumor or a lie just to break you and your person up. It's like somebody here is purposely trying to break you and somebody up here or to keep you from like moving on to happiness, Aquarius. This is crazy. All right, what else is here for my aquas? Uh-huh, ten of, ten of uh, cups here. So, yeah, a family situation. So, some of you guys could have a family situation going on and you find out that this person has cheated here. Okay, queen of wands. So, somebody here has a double life. All right, so you could be dealing with somebody and you thought that you it was just you and this person whole time. They have a secret family here or like behind your back. They could have somebody cheated with somebody's family member here. I don't know why I'm getting like auntie or like cousin vibes. Somebody definitely cheated with like a family member is what they're telling me. Especially if you were dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Evers, Leo, Sag, Queen of Wands. There's a karmic here that wants to reach out to you or somebody could have treated with a karmic or, or cheated with a karmic or some of you guys this is a karmic soul tie that you have with this person you feel like it's happiness or like you want to be with this person you could even be married to this person you thought about having a family with this person and everything or maybe you guys do have a family but it's it's there's a karmic okay coming in between you guys yeah king of cups all right so somebody here it's like somebody's in love with somebody that's not in love with them so, of course, I don't know if this is you or your person, okay? Because we got the two of cups with the king of cups. Somebody here is definitely in love here with you. But it's like they're butting heads. Somebody here is like butting heads with you or your person. It's almost like to keep them distracted from offering you this cup of love or from being faithful to you. Like somebody's pissed off. I just get this energy like, 
out. So you're going to give her everything that I wanted or you're going to give him everything that I wanted. Like there's a karmic here that's pissed because somebody here wants to love you and you take care of you, your kids. Like they really care a lot about you, but they want to break you and this person up. What else is here? Yeah, the six of swords for so moving on. All right, so I definitely feel like somebody's trying to keep you or your person from moving on. You really make this person happy, Aquarius. You guys have a good time when you're together. This person knows that they can glow up with you or they have watched your transformation. Like every time they look at you or see you, like you're always doing something new. You're beautiful. You're handsome. You're always traveling, taking trips. Okay, maybe you're moving on from bad habits. Maybe you used to smoke a lot, drink a lot. You're letting that go or something. Some of you guys are just moving away from this whole situation, period. Because maybe this person's still connected to this karmic in some type of way. Even if it's for kids or they have some investments or something tied up. You're like, look, I don't have time for this homework. I'm not a homeworker. Okay, this is like bad for me or whatever. Like I'm moving on with the Six of Swords. Or somebody's trying to keep you from moving on, Aquarius. That's the truth. Okay, with the Ace of Swords. What's the outcome? Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This is somebody that you work with or somebody at your job is like, uh, or somebody that does like similar work like you. Of course, they could have lied on you. And now they're worried. They can't sleep because they're worried. Like, okay, does the Aquarius know that I lied on her? Somebody here could have tried to get you in trouble like at your job, trying to say you were stealing or doing something crazy. Like they watch you. They stalk you or something. There's at least three people here that's worried they're not sleeping good. Some of you guys are so powerful, of course, you don't even know. Like, you have at least two or three people that are teaming up to try to do work on you. And it's like they're losing sleep because you're the truth. Ace of Swords, or this truth is going to come out that these people have been trying to, like, do this work on you. Five of Wands, they're fighting. There's some fighting or drama happening here. Yeah, the world card. I feel like there's going to be some type of fight or argument and then, like, a relationship or a friendship or something's going to be over. Especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. I see fighting here with the world card. Somebody is purposely picking a fight with you, of course, or your person to like end your relationship, end your career, to end something here with, with the five of wands. Okay, competition. These people are fighting amongst themselves now because it's not affecting you. Yeah, they just give up and walk away. Eight of cups. Or Aquarius, this is you. You refuse to like indulge in drama. You're happy. You're like, I don't even want this person. Like somebody could be mad at you over somebody you don't even fucking want like that. Like that's your dude. That's your woman. Like I don't even want this person. Like... You can have them, but somebody is, like, insisting on, like, starting drama here with you. You could just be walking away. Like, I've been left her years ago. Or I left him years ago. Why the hell are y'all bringing me into y'all's drama? That's your husband. That's your wife. Like, that's the type of energy I'm getting. Yeah, the emperor. You're walking away from, like, whoever this is. Some of you guys, this would be a boss trying to start drama. Some of you guys are walking away from some type of home wrecking situation or somebody trying to involve you in some type of drama. And as soon as you walk away, it's like you walk into your emperor or your empress. Like, somebody had, God has somebody for you. You you do not want this person's man or woman but it's like they feel like you do yeah two of wands all right so yeah some of you guys are walking away from some kind of crazy situation with a cheater they could have had you in all kind of drama some of you guys are like leaving drama or you need to all right because a true emperor a true empress they would never have you to choose they would never have you in the middle of no drama they would never have you feeling like you're a home wrecker or something like that they would already have their business taken care of and they would you know what i'm saying they would not involve you in that they respect you enough to not bring this type of drama towards you some of you guys are dealing with somebody here they don't even respect you enough to like keep this drama away from you or something like that but two of wands some of you guys are making a decision or you're planning on walking away from a situation okay or plan on leaving this job or something because it's too toxic. It's too much drama. So some of you guys are planning to like leave a job, to leave a relationship, leave something, okay, to go and boss up or, or you're going to meet this emperor or this empress or you're getting to know this person. Five of swords is in reverse. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, Spirit is saying walk away from any kind of hate, drama, five of swords is here, okay? So there's a lot of hate and jealousy, of course, towards you. But it's like, you are you don't hate. You're not jealous of anybody. Like, you're glowing up. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't have to hate. I don't have to be jealous, okay? I'm, I'm the emperor. I'm the empress here. Like, you know what I'm saying? So somebody here may feel like you're secretly hating on them or whatever, and you don't even see these people here. All right, so Spirit is saying, like, walk away from any kind of drama, whatever. Focus on your happiness. Focus on your purpose because you have an emperor and empress coming in or this is you. Okay, bosses don't, we don't, you know what I'm saying? Bosses don't indulge in, like, fuckery and drama. Like, if that's who you want, you can have her. You can have him. Like, I'm going to be good either way. So, Aquarius, okay, stay in your boss energy. Stay in your boss mode. Stay focused, all right? So if you resonate with any part of this reading, thumbs up the video is absolutely free. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if it resonated with you or not, and I'll see you on the next reading.